What's up guys, it's Big Marv. <clears throat> Today we're going to be going over a couple of campaigns that I'm working on. So I'm running a couple campaigns right now. One's for a retail place and they do they sell clothes and stuff online. One's for a local automotive shop. And then I got my own, um, my personal one that I'm running. So we're just going to troubleshoot a couple of these ads and one, see where the performance is at, and then two, make some updates and see what we can do to try to get these ads to perform a little bit better. Alright, so the first one I'm going to start off with is Castle Motorsports. They're a local, uh, they're a local shop. So we, their reach and their engagements are still up pretty well. Let's check out how the ads are performing. Okay, so let me explain the strategy that I have going on. Um, so what I do is if you have a page and you need to generate some traffic, um, what we do is we run one ad it's an engagement ad so what that's going to do is that's going to uh, that's just going to show it's going to be cheap and it's going to show your ad to a, a much more broader audience and then um, after you've built up a good amount of results a good amount of impressions a good amount of reach then we run a retargeting ad good afternoon mom uh, then we run a retargeting ad to those viewers targeting them with your offer um, so basically what that does is you start off with a broad audience and then you get video views to build your warm audience so when you target your offer to that warm audience hopefully they're gonna be more likely to click and buy because they took the time to watch your first video okay so let's take a look at the first ad that we're running for them So we've spent $268 and we've reached 24,000 people. So that's roughly two cents per. And out of those 24,000 people that we've reached, we've actually had 11,000 of them watch the video. Okay. <clears throat> and then let's take a look. So then we have the retargeting campaign. Which isn't it performing as well as I want it to. So we've sent 158, so it's averaging $1.83 per click. And what the click is, it's a it's a button that says send a message. So we're trying to get them to send messages to the shop. Um, he 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 gets you know regular notifications and shop and things like that. Um, so the page is building, but it's still not building um, as rapidly rapidly as I want as you can see the relevant score is only two so what I'm gonna do is I think the problem is we just haven't built up the warm audience enough so what I want to do is I'm gonna get rid of that targeting that targeted view I'm gonna show it to a more broader audience because the same audience that we got a relevant score of eight with the first video so the first video people really loved it um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of the custom audience and run it to the more broader audience and then we're going to let that engagement ad still run so he can um, still build up those video views then we'll come back in here and we'll retarget those guys again later. Okay, there it goes. Sometimes Facebook just wigs out on you. All right, so now let's check Space Cakes. So Space Cakes is, uh, they're the retail company that I've been running to. If you guys don't know, retail is one of the hardest things to sell online. It's nearly impossible to hunt down your audience and um, actually get them to click. So what we did is we ran an engagement campaign to to build up an audience and I was feeling like because we got 
the is, is a pretty good relevant score. It was delivering to a good audience, but they they weren't buying, you know. So like we got a 24 cents per click, which is not bad. We've spent 50 bucks to reach 5,000 people. Not bad. Um, let's see where our relevant score is landing. Yeah, our relevant score is six. So I personally try to aim for a seven or higher. But considering what we're selling, um, I'd say that's pretty good. But the approach that I want to take is um, we're I'm part of their target target audience, and I I feel that we just need a better video, honestly. Like it it's a good ad. Let me see if I can get it to load for me. So you can see we're at two thousand uh, twenty two hundred views. We got somebody tagged, but no shares yet, and it's just you know a gift video shows some of their t-shirts but they have a more mainstream audience you know people that um, like Rick and Morty Cheech and Chong some of the other more mainstream stuff so I had them make me a new video uh, I'll show you guys the new video we're gonna tweak the video and replace it because I think it's gonna perform a lot better um, than this video you guys just take took a look at Give me a second here. And then we're going to critique it real quick. See, I like, I like the content, but I really just hate the song. So the song makes you want to just turn it off. Like, I hate the uplifting, inspirational music. And also, you want to capture their, you want to capture the attention of your audience in the first three seconds of the video. So you can see we're four seconds in, and nothing still has captured my attention. So I don't get anything that captures my attention until ten seconds in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit this video and we're going to get rid of that intro and then I'm going to try, I'm going to look for a different song that's going to give me a beat that's going to more match this audience because that, that's going to turn the audience on. So I use Adobe Premiere and I'm still fairly new at editing videos so I apologize or you know forgive me for fumbling through, but this is how you learn, right? Alright, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go find a free beat I can use.
All right, so. So, Paul, I want to edit it because when you're when you're promoting a video, you want to capture your audience attention in the first three seconds. I don't see any of your content until I'm 10 seconds into the video. So I'm going to drop the intro that says a brand new look for space cakes and just break right into the content. And then I'm going to change the beat so it matches more closely to the audience that we're targeting because uh, I, th I think that it'll perform better just with a different different music. Now, let me go back to what I was saying. So, if you if you look um, on YouTube and you put like artist type beat, you'll find free beats that people have made um, that you can use. You just have to subscribe to their channel, and um, you can use their music. And some some guys don't um, care as much, but um, so we're just gonna go through here and find something a little bit more mainstream for our younger crowd um to go with the to go with the new content me, snakes. I got to stop. Leave it on that doorstep and get the hell out of here. All right, Johnny. But what about my money? Okay, for the purpose of this video, let's see. It takes me a few minutes to find what I'm looking for. It'll it'll come to me. X ten. Fuck, I can never spell their damn name right. Bojack Horseman.
<laughs> I like that. All right, so now you're like, how do I fucking get the song? So what I do is uh, keep vid. All right, and then you just grab the link. I'll cancel. Fucked up. Download the audio. And we'll say, um,
Okay, cool. So we got that done. So now the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to modify the ad. So what you do is just go down here and you click clear videos, select video, upload. Tuesday. <laughs> Big sexy P. And I'm gonna I'm gonna change this to most item. Right, this will be our new ad. So we're going to confirm and close. And let's see how that's going to perform. Um, thank you guys. Let me see. Make sure you toss it out. You probably worked very hard on it, Paul, and I apologize that um, I just tossed it out like that, but that's why you hired me, you know, it's, uh, I'm just trying to be truthful, try to help, help me make some money, and uh, I'm your target audience, and I'm just letting you know that uh, I feel like we made a good decision here today to push to your target audience to hopefully make you some sales, because I'm... I'm telling you that intro, I was falling asleep on it, and we're not going to get any views with that intro. Um, so just keep at it. I know you guys never edited video before you got started. So you got Camtasia, and you've been grinding at it, and you're getting better. So just just keep going at it, man. Like, don't, don't give up. Don't let this discourage you. Um, you know, you guys are doing an awesome job, but that's that's why you have me here. So... I, I can be I can be the guy that helps point you in the right direction and help you make those choices so we can get you some more customers. Um, but if you guys want anything else or you need anything 
um, just feel free to shoot me a message or let me know and uh, we can get you guys sorted out. I'll sh update later on this week and let you guys know how these ads are performing that I updated today. Thank you guys for watching. This is one more, or shit. This is Big Marv, one love. Bye, guys.